Hello everyone. In this video, we will look at the REPL in Python. So what does REPL stand for? REPL is basically read, evaluate, print, and then go back again to read. So what does it mean? It means that the shell environment in Python is an interactive environment. And whatever we type into Python and when we hit enter, it reads that. Then it evaluates whatever we have said uh, that needs to be done. And then it prints back the results to us. And then it loo loops back to the read mode where it waits for us to uh, give more input to Python so that it can again evaluate and print. So it goes in this uh, roundabout fashion where it reads, evaluates, prints, and then again goes back to read. So you can also go and read this on Wikipedia. Um, I will leave a note for this in the, in the video notes. So I'll uh, leave the hyperlink for this. And you, if you want, you can further read this. Let's just go and play with, with Python to understand what REPL is. So let's type Python. And so this REPL has started. So this is the first print where it tells us the version and um, what, what version of Python we are using. So for example, if we type 5 plus 3 and hit enter, Python reads that evaluates it and then prints the feedback, uh, sorry, prints the result set to us and then loops back to the read mode again. So if I type five into say six, it has again read it, evaluated it, printed it and looped back to the read state. We can also assign variables like y is equal to eight and that stays in the memory, it has read it and then we can say y into 5 where it will evalu evaluate the result of y into 5 and print it back to us like 40. We can also use underscore. Underscore basically helps us point to the last variable assignment. And I can say into 5 it will give us 40. Oh, so 40 was the last result set and I have reused it. And if I do again into underscore into 5 it becomes a thousand set so underscore basically uh, refers to the last result set we've had or the last print and we can reuse that something which is an anomaly here is for example the print statement because there's nothing to evaluate if i say hello world and hit enter it just prints so in this case it reads there's nothing to evaluate but it prints and then it loops back to the read. Now we will just quit Python here and move back to our command prompt. So I'm in Windows, I will just type control Z and then hit enter. And it brings me back to my uh, Windows prompt. So in this video, we learned about the REPL or how Python works interactively in a shell environment. I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe to my channel if you enjoy what I'm doing. Thanks.